Uh, hello, uh, welcome to uh, this week's tutorial. Um, uh, I am going to uh, uh, introduce you to the delay discounting task and how to design the task and also estimate the uh, delay discounting parameter K uh, uh, and uh, of, I mean, using Excel. Okay, so what is a delay discounting task? Uh, in a delay discounting task, you have a choice where you have two options. Option one is whether you go for an immediate reward or a delayed reward, which is higher than the immediate reward. For example, you have a choice where you, you pick 10,000 rupees today or 20,000 rupees 20 days later. Now the task enables us to quantify the, the level or the extent to which an individual discounts a future reward and goes for the immediate reward. So if the discounting rate is very high, that means the individual is impulsive. So, so this uh, particular way of quantifying the impulsivity has been shown uh, to reflect individual differences across many populations, across people who, who use, uh, you know, who use, uh, who engage in substance abuse versus uh, people who don't, uh, people who have uh, clinical depression versus people who do not have or remitted clinical depression. So individual differences in the discounting rate has been shown and it's an interesting way to quantify the level of impulsivity in an individual. Uh, so we are going to design a basic uh, delayed discounting task. Uh, all right, so let's start with this blank slate here. Uh, we need to first add a uh, fixation, so let's call this a fixation. Uh, that's going to be there for one second, it's going to be a cross. Uh, let's change the size to, let's say, point 0.1 here, or maybe point zero 0.05, sorry, point zero 0.05, point zero 0.05, that's going to be a, a fixation cross that's going to come on the screen for one second, all right, uh, okay, what is going to be the choice? The choice is going to be between an immediate reward and a delayed reward. I'm going to show you how it looks in the Excel file, which we will feed into the loop soon. So for example, one deal would be 11 uh, GBP. In this case, we are following GBP as a, as a unit because we are, going to, we are following a paper uh, that used this. So we're just sticking to those values they've used. So it's going to be whether you want 11 GBP today or 30 GBP seven days later. So this is a typical, this is a typical deal that is given to the participant. This is a choice that is given and participant can have two choices. They can press, uh, let's say one key for uh, the immediate reward or another key for the delayed reward. So for, ex for example, we can use T for the immediate reward, which means T for today and L for the delayed reward, L for later. Okay, now let's add the text. Uh, component into this. Um, this component is going to start from the first second and going to stay there. Uh, we'll change this to set every repeat because as we saw in this Excel file, the values of uh, the immediate reward and the future reward and the delay is supposed to change across different files. So it's going to be varying. So let's start with a dollar sign which means it's going to be a line of Python code that we are writing here. So that is what that is how it's going to be interpreted in the back end. So what's going to be the text? The text is, for example, GBP 11 today or GBP 50 20 days later. OK, so that's going to be, a, you know, one, one, one deal that we are going to show. So let's start with GBP, OK, GBP. Uh, this should be in double quotes so that it is read as a as a string. So GBP, uh, how many, how much, how how many, how much GBP? Uh, it's going to be our variable which we called reward today, and we need to convert that to a string uh, uh, because the reward today, when we feel it in the Excel file, is a number, so it should be converted into a string. Okay, so let's say it should be GBP eleven. Uh, uh, today, so the third word is today, all right, 
uh, and the fourth word, I'm just putting the plus signs, the plus signs will not show up. It just means that we need to concatenate all these, all these strings together when we present it on the screen. Okay, so GBP, so much GBP today plus uh, or, okay, so that's the choice, right? the second choice now starts, or STR of future reward, okay, that's the future reward, okay, after how many days delay after let's say 10 days okay so after so many days now we need to add some space here so if you don't add a space the, all of this is going to be like stacked up together or you know uh, together will be very tough to read so let's add space after gbp before today so that there is space for this uh, this value here uh, or okay we need space on both sides uh, okay this should be there should be a gpp in front of this okay so you know you only should go before the value so it's gpp future reward so we need a space here as well as here for this particular mm -hmm. Uh, variable here after 10 let's say 10 days so we have space here so you know just to just to make sure that this these words are separated okay so we've got that make sure that you set this to every repeat so we have the text component there and we just need a response component which is very straightforward we don't need if there is no real correct response uh, changes to one second here uh, there's no correct response we just need to know what they pressed and the choice that we are giving them is either today t for today l for later okay so we have the keyboard response now let's add the loop okay i'm keeping the end rep to one and loop type to random uh, if you need more trials it should be increased uh, so we have already shown the conditions file this is a conditions file there are four there are three uh, columns are uh, basically three, three variables that we used in the text component. Okay, let's add that in here and it, it, you know, it read all those three parameters here. Okay, so we have that and we are, uh, we are ready to go. So we have the fixation, then the deal, uh, uh, deal which is GBP so much today or GBP so much after so many days. Okay, so that's going to be the deal. All right, so let's uh, run this experiment. So we have the fixation, okay, GBP 78 today or 80, after 162 days okay so i'm going to going for uh, later okay uh, here i'm going for let's say today okay later later uh, today later today i'm just giving some bad, you know responses uh, it doesn't mean much Okay, so we have that and we need uh, to uh, look at the data. We need to look at the data. Okay, let's, let me open up. So this is here is the data. Okay, so this is how the data looks. Uh, you can see uh, for every trial what the immediate reward, what the future reward, what the delay was and also uh, more importantly what the key response was okay so that is what we need so let me remove all of this now first thing is uh, we need to calculate a parameter called k so k parameter quantifies uh, or basically is the point of indifference it is a point at which uh, a given reward will 
have equal probability of uh, getting chosen as uh, you know immediate versus uh, or today versus later okay so that 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 is what the parameter means uh, the the formula to calculate the parameter is given in the paper uh, it is the future reward divided by the immediate reward minus one whole divided by the delay index. So that's going to be our, I'll, I'll, I'll link this paper in the description. Uh, so that is the formula. So let's go ahead and calculate the K. Okay. So K is going to be uh, the future reward divided by uh, immediate reward minus one divided by the delay okay so, so this is going to be our k okay let me pull this down so we have all the k's here now let me repeat what this k means is that for this uh, for this uh, d here so this deal is 78 today and 80 uh, 162 days okay uh, the discounting parameter here is 0 0.0001 okay so what does this mean this means that for an individual okay for an individual who chooses immediate reward or reward today uh, for this choice that person's uh, point of indifference or k is going to be larger than this value okay and if a person chooses future reward for this deal, the K is going to be smaller than this, okay? Larger the K, more they are going to discount the future, okay? And uh, uh, which means more impulsive the participant or, or that individual is. So that's the inference that we are going to make. Now let's calculate what is the uh, K for this particular individual. For this particular individual, the K can be estimated by calculating the geometric mean of the transition point. Now, what is the transition point? It is a point from which uh, the individual moved from uh, later to today or today to later. Uh, you know, it could be read that way as well. Uh, so for that, we need to sort this uh, whole data uh, for K. Uh, so let's sort uh, K from smallest to largest. You could do the other way also. And make sure that you give expand selection so that all the all the rows are uh, all the columns are getting sorted according to the k. Now you can see that this is the transition point, and the idea is here is that the k for this individual or individual participant is between these two values, and uh, you could you could um, uh, uh, sort of analogously think that this is more like how we calculated the point of subject equality or or contrast sensitivity threshold right uh, using the method of limits so you have a list of uh, responses and at one point the response is transitioning from yes to no or heavier to lighter that is that uh, we calculate the threshold by taking the arithmetic mean of those two values between the threshold using the method of limits. This is more like that, just the difference is that we are using geometric mean, not arithmetic mean, so that some values don't get under uh, underrepresented or under underweighted in the final output. So that this is suggested by the authors to go for the geometric mean and not the arithmetic mean. So geometric mean of L to T here, which is geometric mean of these two values here, is going to be the K for that particular participant. Uh, now, if you don't know what geometric mean is, uh, geometric mean, uh, the equation or formula to calculate geometric mean is the nth root of the product of individual values, okay? Uh, so for example, if we have two values here, okay? So nth root here means square root, okay? Uh, if it was three values, it would have been different. No, it won't be square root. Uh, so uh, let me calculate it manually so that you know how it looks. So it's basically SQRT, SQRT of the product of these two values here. So this multiplied by this. Okay. So you can see both are the same values. Just, just to demonstrate and that these are essentially the same sqrt of these two values product of these two values is same as the geometric mean of those two values so that becomes the k of that individual 
And again, if the K is larger, then the impulsivity is higher. So that is the inference based on this, uh, this particular estimation procedure. Uh, I hope that's clear. Uh, thank you very much.